How do my artists welcome to what we have today, sun and moon, guardians rising. I am very, very excited for this. This is an absolutely wonderful set. On the back here we've got Lycan Rock, we've got Tapu Coco bottom, mostly just some information here on the side, Kamo Oh, Tapu Coco again there and Alola Ninetales. So most of the GXs that you can find. And what I'm looking for, what everyone is looking for, the double colourless energy secret rare. It's going for like a hundred dollars at the moment, seventy pounds or so. It's incredible. It would be incredible to find it. I would be so ecstatic. But let's get this opened up to begin with. Let's have a wee nosy what we can find inside. I am very, very excited for this. I went to my first ever pre-release and that was for this set. So I am very, very excited for it. Look at that full booster box. Is there anything more beautiful in the world? So let me just count this out very quickly and we will jump straight in to the opening itself. <laughs> And here we have nine for the first episode. There's a good mix and I just counted uh, all of the ones in the boxes. It felt a little bit thin, just wanted to make sure there were the full 36. But look at those nine, absolutely gorgeous. Let's have a wee nosy at that. Some absolutely lovely pack art in this one. Although I'm, I probably wouldn't use a Komodo card that I think is perhaps my favourite of all the pack arts. Let us jump into the first one. Are you excited? I am excited. And we'll get this wee code off to the side. One, two, three, four. Two at the back and let's go. The very first card here, we have a Slowpoke. Next, Wishy Washy. This one, Wishy Washy has some absolutely incredible GXs in this. The Hyper Rare is absolutely gorgeous. And any Hyper Rare would be incredible at this time. Pseudo Woodo. First Uncommon Field Blower. That is such a good card. If you're playing with, you know, with some Guardians Rising, you're going to need some Field Blowers. Choose up to two, any combination of Pokemon tools in Stadium and discard them. So it can be so helpful to get rid of some of those cards when... You know, other players have got some stadiums that are really helping them. If they've got a water team or a fighting team and they're using Brooklet Hill, you can just wipe that straight away. And the first rare here, we have a Talon Flame. Talon Flame, absolutely gorgeous. Moving on next, Lycan Rock also has some incredible cards. This is pretty much the ability for Lycan Rock is essentially just a Lysander. So if you've used a Lysander in your packs before, you'll know what that card can do. You can swap out any of the opponent's benched Pokemon for their active Pokemon. Incredibly useful and it doesn't take up extra cards in your slot. You know, take a couple of Lycan Rock GXs along instead of having Lysanders. Alolan Vulpix, not too shabby. Again, another Field Blower, incredible card to have in your deck. Gotharita and Sableye, this one is getting quite a lot of buzz. Limitation, your opponent can't play any supporter cards from their hand during their next turn. Supporter cards are things like Sycamore or N cards that are used almost every single turn. That 
is going to mess up the game somewhat if people are using that in their packs. Either Vers Hollow Bell Sprout and Oracorio, not too shabby. And there's so many of these electric ones, psychic ones. We will come across quite a few of them in these next few episodes. Uh, one, two, three, four, one, two. Gligar. I remember in the pre-lease, I, I think I battled someone who was using a Gligar Gliscor deck. Salandit, Stafool, an old favourite from another, from the old uh, Sun and Moon Brookhill Hill. This is one I just mentioned. So once during each player's turn, that player may search for their deck for the basic water or fighting Pokemon, put it onto the bench and shuffle their deck. Very good. This card, again, um, this is such an amazing set. Rescue Structure. Put a Pokemon from your discard pile into your hand, or you can shuffle three discard Pokemon back into your deck. Hakamo O. A reverse holo cast form. And Waylord making a big splash. They are absolutely gorgeous. And what you'd expect for the Waylord, 200 HP, such a massive Pokemon. If you look it up in a Pokedex, there's something I can't. It's something like 30 or 40 meters long. It's such a huge Pokemon. And one, two, three, four, one, two. As of yet, not had any hollows, not had any GXs, so let's see. Wishy Washy, a Vanillite, Clefairy going towards the light, Rockruff, very useful, you know, if you're using a Lycan Rock team, Barboach, Fire Energy, Lampent. Clefable, got a nice wee chain of them going with the Clefairy. Mareni, and this was the card that I used in the pre-release because I got a Toxapex GX, so took along the Mareni. Vinctini, Reverse Hollow, and... Oh. I got, I got, I got, I got loyalty, got royalty inside my DNA. Cocaine quarter piece got... Tapu Koko GX Arrow Tail. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may move any number of electric energy from your other Pokemon to this Pokemon. If you do with this Pokemon, very good if you're using an electric deck. Can that could come in incredibly handy. Not a shabby first pool. From this set. Next up, a Hakamoto pack. Let's have a wee nosy what it can bring. And one, two, three, four. Gothita. Very cute kind of claymation. Blown kiss. Put one damage on one of your opponent's Pokemon. Okay. So it just does 10 damage pretty much, but it can be benched Pokemon, no doubt. Tentacool, Clefairy, and quite a few of these commons will come up again and again. Fighting Energy, got a slow bro, that is some nice artwork there. Gliscor, Watchdog, Reverse Hollow Lampent, and... A hollow blissy fresh egg. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may heal 80 damage from your active Pokemon. Not shabby, and it's always good to have an ability that's got something to do with healing. That again, it can just avoid things like taking a long um, Pokemon Center Lady. And get the code out of the way. One, two, three, four, one, two. First up, we have a Whaler to go along with that Whalord from before. Trubbish. I'm sure we've seen that artwork before. Lovely nonetheless, though. Young Mo'o. Wimpod. 
a Gumi Steel slash Metal Energy Slowbro again, Brooklet Hill, Beware, a Reverse Hollow Tailo, and a Rayquaza. That's not too shabby. It's nice that there's such powerful Pokemon in the just regular rare slot. Turbo Storm for 2 and Dragon Claw for 80. Not too shabby in the slightest. Three packs left. I'm still so excited. Let's see. There must be another pool in one of these. Surely. Surely. One, two, three, four. One, two. Starting off Deli Bird, I had this in my uh, deck in the pre-release. All the presents, incredibly helpful. Uh, you just toss a coin until you get a Tails and you take as many cards as you get heads. Phantom Tailo. Fire Energy Machoke looking so very strong in that one. Got a Gliscor again. Kamala. The Reverse Hollow Deli Bird and Probobas. Probobas. Two more in this episode. A Tapu Coco and a Hakamo. Oh, let's go with this one first. I'll end it on a nice Tapu Coco. Four from the back and two. Let's see what we can have. Starting off with a Murkrow, a Lolan Sandshrew. Very helpful. You don't even need an energy for it to use defense cover. Such a good new rule. Some great new stuff coming out with these Alolan cards. I am a big fan of this set. And the last one Clefable, a Lolan Graveler, Lampent, Reverse Hollow Pseudo Woodo. Reverse Hollow Pseudo Wudo. It's still. Oh, oh! The first episode. Wishy washy. Hyper rare. Rainbow rare. Whatever you want to call it. Wishy washy. Hyper rare. GX. Water gun for 20. Torrential vortex 120. Look at how beautiful. Oh. That is absolutely gorgeous. I'll just put that there beside the Tapu Coco GX so you can watch, see, you can look at them both while we open this last Tapu Coco. And I will not expect anything from this pack. Having had two hits in one episode, nothing else is expected. One, two, three, four. There have been a lack of um, aqua patches. Aqua patch, another great item that's come out in this set. Bell sprout, cotoni, carvana. So yeah, with aqua patch, you just attach a water energy, and it doesn't take up the energy that you've already attached during the. Uh, turn. Altar of the Sune, Altar of the Sun, however you want to pronounce it. Hey, a choke looking powerful again. Altar of the Moon. Often these two just come together in the same pack. Not too shabby. A reverse hollow Lilligant and a regular rare Turntonator. Nothing to complain about in this episode at all. Let me bring these back up Tapu Coco GX and Wishy Washy Hyper Rare. Ooh, that was a good episode. But thank you so much for watching. I will stick these next few episodes up in the coming days. But thank you very much for watching. I think I just said that. And how do my artists? Eggs! Eggs! E-double-G-S eggs!